Welcome everyone to another video. We are so excited today to bring you this video because we are doing an unboxing of my upcoming book, The Natural Soap Making Handbook. So I started writing this back in January of 2023. That's when I was contacted by the publisher, Page Street Publishing. And basically it's been a year and four month long journey to get here. And the book is here. We just got this envelope, which I'm assuming is one book, and then this box of books. And I will tell you all about the book in just a minute, but let's dive right in and open this up because I'm super duper excited. I have not seen the book in real life yet. I've seen lots of PDF versions, so. This is a live unboxing, friends. I might cry. We'll see. Whew. Okay. Ah! Oh my gosh. Okay, here it is. The Natural Soap Making Handbook. This is my first book ever. So I wrote this book, obviously, and I also t did all the photography for it, which was actually maybe even more work than writing it. So this is like super exciting. I'm kind of shaking a little bit. Okay, it looks really nice. Um, all right, so this book has like my whole heart and soul poured into it. Basically, it is a, a book for beginners, but it has a lot of more advanced concepts that soap makers who've been making soap for a while know about, but a lot of beginners don't know about. One of those things is working with a 50-50 lye solution, which is typically not something that you would do as a beginner. But I really, really wanted to put that in this book because working with 50-50 lye has been like a game changer for us and our business. And just it's just so much easier to have your lye already made and prepped and ready to go. And then you don't have to think about it or make it every time you make soap. So we do have a couple of videos on 50-50 Lye, if you have no idea what I'm talking about. Um, we have one on how to make it, and we also have one, have one that talks about basically what it is and why you'd use it and the benefits and how to use it. And so definitely check those videos out if you're interested. But in this book, I also talk about exactly how to make 50-50 Lye solution and how to use it in every single recipe in here. So this book has 31 recipes. It's aimed towards beginners, but these are all palm-free recipes. All the oils and butters that we use are vegan, if that's important to you. We do use milk and honey in some of the recipes, but they can be substituted with um, alternative milks, vegan milks, and agave or something like that instead of the honey. So anyway, I haven't even looked through this yet, so I'm just gonna peek through some of the pages. Oh, wow. This is like one of my favorite pictures. So at the beginning of the book, I say, welcome fellow soap makers to my heart. And I think that that kind of is sort of what carries through, I hope, through the entire book is just my love of this craft and like everything that is brought to my life. And I just absolutely love making soap and I'm so excited to share everything that I've learned over the years with you guys. We do talk about um, blending essential oils. We talk about, I mean, the beginning part is all about how to make soap and all of the different ingredients that you might need. Lye and liquids is the very first section, which is where we talk about 50-50 lye. And there are 31 recipes, I think I already said that, but there's also a section on essential oil blending. And this is probably one of the things that we get asked about the most probably out of every, and you know, any other question is, how do you blend essential oils? A lot of people that work with fragrances have a hard time figuring out how to use essential oils. And so this book, is really one of the main, main things that we talk about is how to do essential oil blending. And when I first started making soap, the main way that I heard about blending essential oils was using top, middle, and base notes, which is what they use in perfumery to blend essential oils. But in soap making, that's like, it's a little bit confusing, I find. It's like overly complicated. And it implies that you need three essential oils minimum, which I don't think you do. You can make soap with one essential oil. You can make soap with two essential oils and those all smell great. So 
in this book I talk about my process for how to go through blending essential oils from like super simple blends to more complex blends and so the book goes through all that there's recipes you know highlighting all of these different techniques and then there's a section on colorants and all natural colorants clays and plant-based colorants wow it's so cool to see this okay yeah the magic of natural colorants and then there's a section on like adding grit and texture and feel to your soap so that can be exfoliants but it's also the tops botanicals all kinds of things to make the soap your own like that last final touch and then at the very end there's a section on deeper dive and basically this is like all those questions that you end up asking yourself once you've made soap for a while like what's a water discount how do you you know what's a lye discount do you really have to cure your bars how long do you need to cure them for how do you use a stick blender properly so that you're getting good trace what is trace all those kinds of things and i think that you know it's going to be beneficial not just for new soap makers but for experienced soap makers as well especially if you've never worked with all natural soaps so almost every soap in here uses an alternative liquid it's going to be usually you know some kind of milk like coconut or regular milk goat milk and there's also aloe vera carrot juice coffee tea all kinds of different options so it really kind of covers all of that stuff. And then we try to use as many natural colorants as possible, but they're sort of the ones that are easier to use. Some natural colorants can be a little finicky. We focused on really the natural colorants that yield the best results in the easiest way possible. So you may or may not know this about me, but I'm a very lazy soap maker. And so anything that can get really great results without too much work like infusions and things like that is totally my jam so we talk about that a lot in the book so this book is like a journey that we're going to go on together so I can't wait for you guys to get a copy if you're interested in pre-ordering it it comes out May 28th so you can wait until it's released but if you pre-order you can do so on Amazon Barnes and Noble a lot of local bookstores if that's what you want to do I have heard from a lot of people have gotten it from all over the place and it's also available internationally as well. So you can get it in a lot of places and if you pre-order, you can actually send me your receipt, basically your proof of pre-order. And we're doing like an incentive right now where you get a free recipe if you pre-order. And the recipe is kind of it's kind of a big deal, not to toot our own horn, but it's gonna be a sea salt soap recipe. And so it's like our special sea salt rope soap recipe that we've been making for a long time. And it includes six different essential oil and color options. So it's actually six recipes in one. It's a 17 page PDF and it talks about how to make sea salt bars. Those are the ones where you use a lot of sea salt. So I'm not talking about brine bars or just adding a little bit of sea salt to a soap. This is like full on sea salt soaps, which if you've never tried are super luxurious really really nice so anyway you get that recipe for free if you pre-order my book um, as long as you send the receipt before may 27th you'll get a copy of that recipe so may 27th is the day before the book release which is on may 28th so in order to get that you have to pre-order the book then you have to email me the receipt at muddymintbook at gmail.com so muddymintbook at gmail.com and i'll put all the information in the description below this video so that you can find out where to buy the book and how to get the free recipe but if you're interested in that definitely take advantage of that because you'll get this book you'll also get the free recipe which is not in this book by the way it's a it's a different recipe altogether and let's take another look in here i still haven't looked at all the pages there's a lot of tutorials by the way in here like design tutorials and things like that on how to make all the designs in the book. I mean, I tried to include a lot of information. And one of the things that we also included at the very end is um, a shopping list and supplies. So one thing that I'm pretty conscious of is not having like a lot of different ingredients to make the soaps in here. And so I tried to kind of streamline the ingredients basically to the essentials, just make it, you know, simple, not have too many exotic oils or 
essential oils and things like that. And at the very end, there's a list, it's kind of like a shopping list. So if you want to make every soap in this book, you can look at that list and just buy everything in bulk, which will save you a lot of money. And then you can basically go through every single recipe in here. Maybe we'll do some videos in the future on making all of those soaps. I'm, okay, I'm gonna open this box too. This one has like 20 bucks in here, I think. I mean, it's the exact same book, so not super exciting because we've already looked at the book, but woohoo! So I'm not sure exactly what we're gonna do with these. Some of these, you know, we're gonna send to family, people that have supported us. Maybe Troy will get a copy of the book. <laughs> um, and then some of them we might do as a giveaway. So I might do a giveaway with signed copies of the book. So if you're not following us on Instagram, maybe make sure to go over there. We are at Muddy Mint on Instagram. And on there, I mean, we post a lot of videos and pictures and information about upcoming releases and stuff. But we also will do probably do the giveaway on Instagram as well. So anyway, super excited to share this with you guys. I can't wait till it's out and I can't wait to hear what you guys all think about it and see what you make. Bye, thanks for watching.